Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. I'm going to react to the fourth episode of the second season of Princess Connect Redive. So last episode was a very interesting one because we got to see a familiar face, Aoi, our like elf forest girl. And she's going to like a Ojo Sama Academy, but she's of course having issues because, you know, she's... She's always, she was always a loner and she feels a little bit out of place and she's difficulty making friends. It's the kind of thing you would expect, really. But, um, yeah, we got to help her out because I guess she wanted, because there were people at the, we were helping her because people at the school wanted her help as a forest girl because they wanted to investigate mysteries in the forest, right? We met three new characters of that school. Uh, Yuni, the, uh, the doctor, the smart one. Also, uh, Chiaru and, uh, Chloe, I think their names were. They're like a trio that are like, not rich despite going to an Ojo Islamic school and needing that uh, that sweet sweet scholarship money. So they all got to, got together in the best gate of the forest and we saw the, the Green Guardians, but we also saw some really different sort of stuff like uh how do I describe it? Like the hidden plane of existence, the, the falsehood, just stuff that's not meant to be seen, right? Stuff that somebody or some people don't want to be discovered and there's been some manipulation in that regard. So they're just yeah, I feel like we just like got a peek of a whole different conspiracy like whole di whole different layer of things but uh i don't know how much we're going to explain on that but uh, for now we're with this episode so let's jump into it and see exactly what we get so three two one play. looks like we're starting out with some sort of action okay what did i walk into Yeah, I just like jumped right into an epic battle. I assume this is like a flashback. Oh. Yeah, she really does come across as quite powerful. Quite, quite scary. Quite crazy. Oh, damn. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I was going to think it was probably going to be like a memory dream sequence. Because that's always been a thing, right? He uh, didn't have memories when the first show started. Like, there was some stuff he needed to slowly recover. And that was a pretty big stuff we just saw there, so... Looks like you might be taking some pretty big steps towards that goal. I just can't get over that attack. That was just like a world ending level attack. Do you want up or not? My cat? If you want to see, see him? At least lay down if we're going to be up here. The bouncing just... Well, there's a lot of great shots in this opening, like quick rapid shots of that kind of montage section. Really good to see all the wonderful character designs in this show. <laughs> Scared the birds, oh god, what? Mirror glaze on the mind. <laughs> Man, all those faces are just like, nope. <laughs> Not a single one of those faces made me think they were going to stick around. Come on, Kyoru. We don't got time to lie on the job. Yeah, Kyoru's had a rough season. <laughs> Ow. Hasn't been looking great for him either. 
<laughs> to be fair. Yeah, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. So it's just gonna fall down into the seam. <laughs> On point, I guess that's one word for it. They went somewhere, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, priorities. <laughs> I'm not sure she approves. I gotta cut in the profits on her watch. Oh! Somebody just helped. Is that the girl I think it is? From season one? I didn't get a good look at her, but... Well, no kidding. Okay, I... I don't think it's the character I was thinking of. The other one I definitely don't recognize. This is not a very fun quest so far. <laughs> uh, be careful the kind of things you say. Oh god, I would be so terrified. Kind of reminds me of a scene from Jurassic Park. Okay, we're gonna have a rescue. Wow, that shot. <laughs> We're just gonna drop a giant rock on him. I mean, that gets it done. I just, the animation, the flipping and all that was, that looks so good. I kind of want to watch that again. Like in slow motion. Yeah, I think that's a mouth is what really freaks me out about that monster. Princess. All the characters in the show just look so good, I can't get over it. Makoto, okay. Maho, that's easy to remember. I swear every episode wants to give me another half a dozen names to remember. <laughs> I understand your suffering, Kedu. Okay, I guess we have a bunch of meat now. I should have seen this coming. <laughs> yeah, the one character I was thinking of was the one girl from the uh, season one when the like the shadow episode, where he first had a real interaction with the shadow people, copying people and whatnot. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kadu has gotten to the point where she understands them well enough to interpret. <laughs> yeah, the animation this episode has just been noticeably like a step higher. Although maybe I just think that because I'm tired. Because <clears throat> I'm recording at, uh, I don't you know, almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Calm. Well, you have us here to help now. That does not reassure you.
little bit embarrassed there. <laughs> Never let looks deceive when it comes to food. Just admiring the ring. I wouldn't trust anything she gave me. Probably some kind of special tracking ring or something similar. I remember Sorceress Alive had a like a like a pendant to have like tracking magic attached to it. Despite supposed to be like a fancy family heirloom kind of thing. Are you trying to whistle? <laughs> no, they're having fun. Just let them be. Also, I enjoy the way she talks, the princess. I, I see. What's well, a show about a magician girl? Anime about a magician girl that also called the main male character that. So that's kind of what it comes to my mind when she says it. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Oh, the way that thing was running. Oh, that was unsettling. Yeah, this went from zero to one hundred real quick. Yeah, right behind you. View, view, cute kid. Oh, we got like a puncher character. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, again, watch your back. Uh, that didn't look good. Oh, go! Uh, yeah, yeah, he has that effect on the ladies. Yeah, let's go. Oof, okay, you can get off now. <clears throat> Good job. So I guess that's that. Yeah, look at there's a decent amount of them, but I guess it wasn't too bad. Don't run off by yourself. What is it? Is the one that was like glowing? The embodiment of my ideals. Are we peeking? <laughs> okay. I mean, we've had this sort of like mimicry from the shadows before. That's what this is, right? But yeah, the fact that she's not hostile is definitely weird. I mean, that really is like a mirror of her. This could lead to a lot of embarrassment for her. Is he going to be our interpreter? Yeah, translating Senpai's predecessor, I mean, I guess it's fine, but it feels so weird. <laughs> I I'm really not sure what to make of this. She 
she's kind of adorable, but I think she's becoming his pet. Probably like a similar wavelength. <laughs> yeah, I definitely understand that would be weird. Are you gonna put a bag on her head? <laughs> okay, yeah. Completely, completely different person now. <laughs> like she's got a sister she could dress up. Can we have similar clones for the rest of the girls too? Why did you get up? I love that sitting position of yours. Yeah, I just, I swear something about the animation just feels different. I don't know how to describe it. Because some of the shots in particular just felt different. Oh, well, there's some light. Uh... <laughs> oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Uh, I, I, it's good, it's good to see that they're that they're bonding. I, I appreciate this. Uh. <clears throat> yes, I am awake now. Oh, is that? Those are all shadows, that's a lot. Can we go home now? Is it just like falling on them? What's what is happening? Is this just like a failure going going on over there? I don't quite get that. Yeah, she's getting very clingy. Butterfly effect. Oh. Uh, a message of some sort? Or is that... I'm not going to say that. We're trying to, rather. I feel like we saw her in season one once, maybe? They're, you know, touch and go again there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Okay, at least we got the final puzzle piece of what's going on there. Yeah. You sweeten the deal a little bit. What? Are they here? Or are they... Okay. Yeah, that's a lot to take in. Yeah. We gotta do what we can. Oh god, that thing is pretty big, actually. Another fantastic shot there. <laughs> I 
from that distance. Man, just here we go. <laughs> wow, two knees, two heads. I love our fighting style. You know, I want to potentially pay attention to what you're saying, but there's there's too much cool action on the screen. Nice jump. Yeah, watch out for the giant arm. <laughs> I don't get swarmed by the shadows either. It really is like a raid party battling a boss. That is so what this is. That Yuki juice. The Yuki juice it gives to princess knights and all that. And it looks so tiny when they're on top of it. I find a crevice we can go inside. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you better hold on. Oh, what did I just tell you? <laughs> You're welcome. My god. Hey, we found her! <laughs> I know, right? Hurrah! She's awake! Ah! Uh, and we were so close. Uh, we're gonna get shot out. Well, damn. Yeah, we definitely can't give up. Yeah, just keep Princess striking. <laughs> Princess strike! Oh, we got an arm. That's good. <laughs> like the fourth in a row. I don't think I like what just happened. What did just happen? It showed the ring for a second, so... Ah, uh, this is not okay. Ah, uh, this is so not okay. It's not gonna end the episode on this note, is it? Damn it. Uh, I bet it's a ring that did it too. Stupid ring that she gave Kyaru. Uh. You can't just do that. You can't just teleport somebody away from an awesome fight and right in the middle of it. Uh, she was getting like that combo going. And the CD is just so chill after such an action-packed, high-tension episode. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can almost like feel inside my body my like level going down. Like adrenaline level. I like a better term for it. Alright, that was the fourth episode of the second season of Princess Connect Redive. 
And wow, where do I start with this episode? I mean, right off the bat, it kind of made it clear what kind of episode this, episode this was going to be. One leaning more towards that, towards the action, right? Because it started off with a, like, a memory, right? Because we see, uh, what's her face? You know, blonde girl there. We see the other girl, you know, with, like, the the floaty thingies next to her. But, yeah, just so much magical energy and power just flowing around and being utilized. And I think that was supposed to be, like, uh, Yuki's old party members, right? I don't really get a good shot of them, really. But they're, they're definitely there. But, yeah, we jumped in, like, right mid-epic boss battle there. So, obviously it's not going to be too clear, right, on the context of it. But, still, it's proof that... He is slowly but surely getting memories back, because that was in the form of his dream. But yeah, this episode, you can have, I, I think it's safe to say this is one of those, like, uh, Sakuga episodes. Like, one of those episodes you save the animation budget for. I definitely got that impression. But yeah, the gang was on a mission. They met some new people. Like, uh, like a beast, beast gang, right? We had, uh, do I, do I remember any of their names? Makoto, Maho, uh... What was the other girl with Cutie Ha? No. I, I don't... I, I got most of the names. But... But, uh... Yeah, the one girl said she was a detective. <laughs> which ended up being more relevant to the episode than I thought it would be when I first heard that. But... Yeah, basically, we, we, met, we met up with them and we decided to, to get together with them. Help them out. Breaking out the map and uh, just searching about. And also got a shot of Kyaru getting a ring from... Her, her overlord, whose name I wish I remembered, I probably should remember. I mean, I don't even remember what she calls her. I know she's called her, like, Heika before, you know. But, uh, it's not like, it's not a name. But, yeah, the, the other girls, we get this, like, the punching girl, you know, with her Ryu Q Ken knuckle arrow, or whatever. Like, just seeing her in action is great. Anytime you get that kind of, like, brawl, punchy, kind of, you know, berserker sort of character, like, it lends itself to some really cool battle choreography, so, as soon as I saw her, saw the kind of fighting she would do, I was looking forward to seeing her fight, and we got to see her fight, and I, I would say I enjoyed it, quite, enjoyed it quite a bit. Kasumi, that was her name, Kasumi, thank you. Well, yeah, with Kasumi, we had a bit of a weird thing, because I guess one of the shadows did its usual mimicry kind of thing, and became her, or, you know, the embodiment of her ideals, I guess. And then we just kind of locked her up, but she's not really hostile, so she didn't stay locked up too long. She seemed to be pretty responsive to, uh, to Yuki, and then eventually got really clingy with uh, Kasumi. It's it's all very confusing. I don't think I fully understand what's going on there, but I enjoyed, every, I enjoyed everything about it, though. I'll, I'll say that much. But... Also, we had a golem, which I guess had a butterfly girl trapped in it. it was, the shadows were trying to get to it to absorb her, and she used her devil to call for us to help, but then decided it was too late. But then we went to go try to help anyway, because, I mean, the golem's attacking the people. We can't we can't get them all out in time, so we gotta do what we can. We just, like, princess strike them from far away and just... Uh, I'm still remembering that shot where, like, did the zoom-out shot from the golem all the way to where the gang was holding the line. Like, it was just, it was good. Also, the when uh, Makoto first showed up, you know, her flippy, flippy attack thingy. That's that's what I'm going to call it. Looked so good. But, man, just, they really went for, like, an epic sort of scale with this episode. And it just, it felt so good to watch. Man, just, like, because it really had that dynamic feel of a, like, yeah, a raid party. Everyone doing their best to fight the boss. Because we saw people flying here, running up, running up, running up, running up it over here. Grabbing onto this thing over there, swishing, swashing around over here. Like, there's no words for, like, the animation, the camera work. Just everything was so good. I just, I kind of want to watch it all again. But we got, like, the four princess strikes in a row from Pekodin before she got transported away to, you know, the final boss, bad guy, girl, person. Uh, and I guess we'll see what happens with that. See, is there anything else I want to say about the episode? I mean, I, I enjoyed the new characters we got in this episode. Even though it's a never-ending list of character names I have to keep adding to. It's, it's gotten kind of silly, but, you know, it's that's kind of show it is, you know. It's uh, based off of, like, a waifu collecting game, and you gotta have as many top-quality waifus as possible with a bunch of different 
great looking, unique character designs in the show has always excelled at that, and I can never complain about getting more and more of them, <laughs> even though it does mean more and more names to remember, or in my case, not to remember. Uh, I can't really complain about it. Especially when they look like that. But, but uh, yeah, good stuff. You know, the things do seem to be continuing to move. And next episode, we should get some interesting stuff if uh, considering where Pequity now is. So, we even got to see Meta Mafa, Mafa Maba Juju, you know, the butterfly girl. So, and I'm pretty sure you saw her once in season one because I like vaguely remember a butterfly girl popping up with a weird name. Like, it's, that's vaguely in the back of my head, so I assume that's the same person. But, yeah, uh, Kasumi's double ganger, ganger girl. I, uh, I definitely enjoyed all that stuff. Just, especially, because just not only what she was doing, but, like, the, the reactions from Kasumi. You know, embarrassment, panic, all that stuff, right? You know, like, changed her hair or whatever to make her look slightly different. But, uh... Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I I really can't wait for the next episode. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next reaction. Until then, bye-bye.